here we have new arc tool and as you can see it's a ui based tool um, if you're familiar with the old arc tool you would basically just drag your folder onto the exe and it would create an arc for you new arc tool handles this on its own through ui um, but it can be kind of complicated especially if you're completely new to dead rising modding um, so what we'll do is we're going to create a mod using new arc tool and old arc tool and just show you the comparison of what you would need to do um, both of these methods are using the dead rising ex patch which allows you to run a custom made arc file um, and the purpose of that is that you don't have to edit game files you can just have bolt-on mods that don't replace any of the original files so the mod that we're going to do is we're going to replace a zombie texture and again it's not going to replace the default texture in the game's files it's going to be a bolt-on mod and when the ex patch sees that mod loaded it will just use that texture rather than the original texture and to do this in the new arc tool what we're going to do is we're going to locate through the files for the texture that we want to edit and in our case it's just a random zombie face texture so the pathing that you would go through to find that is it would be model em em00 and here we have our zombie texture now what we're browsing through here is our default game files these are stuff that we don't want to edit so what we're going to do is we're going to make a new texture of this that the game will use and instead of messing with this actual texture so the first thing you can do is you can extract it and that will extract it as a dds and then you can freely edit that as you wish you can make whatever edit you want as you can see i've plastered it with pink lines now that we have the edit to our texture actually made we want to put it into its own arc file and the way that you do that is you go to the original texture and you just right click the actual physical string of the texture here and you click copy to archive and what that's going to do is it's going to create a new archive or a new dot arc file for you so you click new archive and you can just name it my new zombie or whatever you want and now you click done and there you go in the mods folder once it finishes loading you will now have my new zombie dot arc and you can go through the pathing here and you can see that it's model em em00 and here's our texture it's not the edited one yet now that you have this all set up you're now able to right click it and click inject and replace that with your new one and that's done now if we actually go over to our games files here it's already created the file for us it's already put it in its location and here you can see we have my new zombie and it's all edited with its new texture and everything's good to go now of course this is a lot of steps to do something as simple as a texture edit and the reason i say that is because the old arc tool would actually do this a bit faster the only thing is old arc tool can do this faster if you know how to create arc files yourself and if you do then the old arc tool is is like a hundred times faster and i'll actually show you how to use that it doesn't mean that old arc tool is better it just means that if you're more familiar with how the game runs and how files work you can create arc arc files much faster so what we're going to do is we're going to create this same custom arc with the original manual arc tool. So we can close out of the new arc tool and what we'll do is we'll create a folder and we'll just call it mod, something, something, whatever. Then we'll create a new folder in here and we'll call it model. And then in here, we'll create a new folder called EM. And then in here, a new folder called EM00. And then in here, we just take our custom texture with our pink lines and we just throw it in. Then all we have to do is take the root folder, our mod folder, and we just drag it over our tool. And there you go. That's, that's it. You are now ready to stick this into your dead rising mods folder. And it is now as working and as good as the my new zombie arc it's exactly the same so obviously if you're used to 
the way Dead Rising works and you know how to path folders correctly and you know where textures and models are supposed to go, you can create mods very quickly with old ArcTool. But if you're new to modding Dead Rising and you need a UI to kind of guide you along, the new ArcTool is much better.